All right, welcome back to Twin Cities Live. Big props, big props whoop. to Kelly for filling in for Elizabeth <laughs> today. We got a whoop. And the days leading up to the big event like Christmas, many of us find ourselves stressed mm -hmm. or agitated and you just have this, this compelling feeling to shut down. That's right. It can be helpful to understand though what is happening inside your body and why. Here to talk about it is Dr. Karen Ryan. She's a licensed psychologist with Nystrom and Associates and she's our most favorite therapist Aww. in all of the land. <laughs> Thank you. We love when you're Aww. here because it feels like a little free therapy session. I know it's a little free therapy yeah. session. We're actually going to get a little bit of a deeper edu education because you yeah. often talk to us about our feelings and why we're feeling yeah. that way mm -hmm. and some tools and how we can combat that but you kind of want to do a little bit deeper dive and sort of like what happens biologically in mm -hmm. those situations as well yeah right? I think knowledge is power and so when you understand why you're doing a certain technique or something it, it can really help you believe it and practice it more so yeah we're gonna dive a little deeper into our central nervous system today. Oh, fun, yeah. fun, fun. all right so just from <laughs> from kinesiology class I know it consists the nervous system is the brain the spinal cord and all the nerves right like jutting out exactly okay well, exactly well, what is it really doing yeah. like what's what's it how, what's it taking care of yeah so the the central nervous system right is our autonomic nervous system so it automatically happens it's kind of the things that take care of us that we involuntarily don't even have to think about our breathing our digestion our okay. heart rate our lungs, our pupil dilation, all those things. And all, along our spine, there's two different um, systems. So there is our sympathetic nervous system and our parasympathetic nervous system. Going right down that spine, nerves going to all of our organs and all of our stuff. Okay. Right? And so there's two different ones. So the sympathetic nervous system is what activates us. It's what increases our heart rate. It's what increases our respiration. It's our activation system. It's what gets us going. Okay. Right, and this is typically activated when there's stress, mm -hmm. like right now, mm -hmm. or when there's a danger. <laughs> so it's really an adaptive response if we're in a threat. Like, how do we keep our body as safe as so possible? So this is the fight or flight. This is fight, flight, freeze, or fawn. Exactly. What's exactly. freeze or what's fawn? So freeze is when um, you something startles you and you just, and you just don't do anything. freeze. Okay. Right, and fawn is what typically when a trauma response when you will kind of acquiesce or be compliant and kind of get along to get out of the trauma as fast oh, as possible. Interesting. So if somebody's really agitated with you or somebody's really threatening you, you might fawn. Okay, okay. so before piece. we yeah. get into the parasympathetic, yeah. one question about the sympathetic. Is that something that you can train your body to do? It sounds like we're just genetically predisposed to have this fight or flight. Like I'm naturally just going to be scared of this or not scared of this. Can you train that? Is there like yeah. skills in which you can like adapt to where like maybe these these mm -hmm. situations aren't an immediate flight situation. Yeah, absolutely. Where you're talking about, we sometimes have that hyper startle or we're kind of easily responsive to things. So one of the things that's really helpful is recognizing if you have triggers or things that tend to startle you. Okay. So if you know that, then you can kind of start to prepare for that or recognize that. And sometimes it's even after the fact where you rewind, you say, okay, what happened there? How did I get to that? And you can kind of put those pieces together and mm -hmm. that can be helpful. So sometimes we just get really startled and we can't stop it, but other times when we've kind of lessened our threshold, so to speak, so mm -hmm. we're kind of stressed or we're already kind of worried, we're gonna be more reactive. And so part of it can be, can I calm myself? Yeah in that parasympathetic nervous system so that way I'm not as reactive to some of those things. Okay, you tied yeah. right into it. The parasympathetic, yeah. that is what's going to kind of help bring us back, right? Yeah, exactly. It does the opposite of the other one, so it calms us down. It's what stimulates our digestion. It would help slow us down. It helps us feel more calm. And so this is naturally kind of happens when we have a positive experience. When we sit down and we watch a movie and we relax a little, or somebody gives us a hug, or there's something positive that happens is our parasympathetic nervous system. But there's also things we can do to help activate that, which sounds funny, activate to calm us down. Right. Mm -hmm. But the, it really is a technique of how do I activate this part of my body that's naturally there to help me calm down. Okay, you've got okay. some things that you're going to have us do, yeah. right? Yeah, we can do them together. She's like, yeah, we, sh we should well, do you're willing, we, yeah. We should 100%. do them together. Let's do 100%. it. 100%. Okay, so the first one is if we're feeling kind of tired and we're feeling kind of drained and we want some energy, but we don't want to activate that fight or flight, there are things we can do. The first one is kind of silly, but it's a lip flutter. So a... And you can see how it kind of wakes you up, but it also makes your face relax immediately after you do it. Huh. So the lip flutter. So if, okay. we're, if we're feeling a little stressed, anxious, we're in kind of an anxious yeah. situation doing that. That one, or if we want a little energy. The other oh, one I'm to give sorry. us energy, yeah. I'm we're going to stand okay. up, oh, right? Nice. Okay. okay. Stand, right, is to do extended warrior pose and just do some stretches. Oh. Right? So right front in to the back middle side, of target. Right in the middle of target. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, all right, right, people, I'm just having a moment. Okay, just I'm just going to stretch. Guys. Yep. Okay. The other positive thing to do is just really give yourself that positive pep talk. 
I give you this. One more stir. Here we go. 20 more cookies. Here we go. One more salad. What am I doing? <laughs> it's, it's seriously, but it helps, right? Okay. So then if we're talking about activating the parasympathetic nervous system, one of the best things we can do is a forward fold. Mm. Okay, so a forward fold is simply where you like lean forward, right? And you're kind of stretching out your spine. So I'm going to grab my hair here. So a full forward fold would be all the way down like this. So you can really let your this head hang? Really let your head hang. And then if you're up for it, you put your hands behind your head and you can activate right here. This is your vagus nerve and your whole spinal cord there sends the message, oh, look it, we're calm, we're relaxed, we're okay. This is what I do at so Target. So how long would you that's like... That's what I do at Target. Yeah. yeah, that's what you do at Target, exactly. How long would you hold so that So I would pose? hold that for um, five to 10 breaths. Okay. So long enough where you're like, I'm breathing, I'm sitting, I'm relaxing. You can also do it seated where you sit mm -hmm. and just lean forward and lean as far as you can. You might not go all the way to your toes. That doesn't matter. Just lean forward as far as you can. That's a forward fold. Okay. Another one that most people don't know or think about it's, is an ice pack. Take an ice pack oh. and again, that vagus nerve mm -hmm. right here, connected to your brain and spinal cord, put an ice pack on that and that will help that relaxation kick in. You can also oh. do it on your forehead. But it's, it sounds funny, it sounds like ice water or ice would be yeah. activating, but it actually calms, it activates yeah. the parasympathetic nervous system and helps us calm. I like this because you get into a stressful situation and all you think to do is just get out of it. Yep. And if you can't, there are things you can do. Maybe you'll see your, your Aunt Susie bending over <laughs> just, just to activate her vagus nerve. Yeah, yeah she's not can't. stuck. She's not stuck. You know, don't, just you can maybe her ask her, moment. yeah, let ask her if she needs help. Before you go to bed at night, when you find yourself in between things, just like taking those few five breaths in a forward fold, is, I promise, is going to help. And, even and from you know a, why now? Yeah, and even from just a blood pressure standpoint, like having that rush of blood sort of go into your head, it mm -hmm. sort of feels, I don't know, it feels good yeah. after, you know, you stand up for 30 seconds and it almost feels like a flush. Yeah, you, you feel like, like you're doing something that really yeah. is good for the digestive it's a, it's system. It's a good distraction. Yep, really exactly. Really focused on something that you just need to let go of. And things feel overwhelming, really you don't know what to do, oh, I can do this. And yeah. you know, functionally, biologically, it helps. Yeah, Dr. Ryan. I like it. Thanks. Great. My Merry pleasure. Christmas. Always good Thank to see you. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Okay, Nystrom and Associates provides uh, care in the fields of family therapy, psychiatry, psychology, and much more. So if you are struggling with stress, anxiety, depression, or addiction, reach out to them today. Please do that. We're going to be right back.